of uh, the ancient Roman Empire, I realized it takes five years to train a legionnaire, someone that is good with the sword, with the shield, with the spear. Takes five years. But David was in that hold for 12 years. So the guys that he was training, he trained them and they became masters, but there was no opportunity for them to test their weapon. <laughs> Hallelujah. And one day, David was passing close to his village and the well that he drank from until he became an adult, he discovered it was part, it was the domain of the garrison of the Philistines. That means there was a minimum of about 2,000 soldiers there and a maximum of about 12,000 soldiers there. And when he, it was not a command he gave them, he said, Oh, that one will give me drink. That one will give me what? Drink of the water of the well of Bethlehem, which is by the gate. And that's how Jesus is groaning in our time. Groaning about the souls in Abelkota. Groaning about the souls in your neighborhood. Who will give me access to that strong domain? And the way Jesus put it was not, the way David put it was not as if he was given a command, it was just a desire. Meanwhile, these guys have been looking for an opportunity to test their skills. So they converted the desire of their master to a commandment. I pray we'll find men on this platform, on this mountain, that will con 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 convert the desire of Jesus into, into, into marching orders. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm wondering whether the men were on drugs because they were going to face at least 2,000 armed soldiers. And if you have studied, the Philistines were the ones that discovered iron. So they were, their equipment was state of the art. If you see them armed to the teeth with shin guard and protective devices, and you look at your own sword, you are likely to postpone that battle. <laughs> but these guys, they went down. And the thing about their going down was that at the time where the water will be taken from the well, there will be one man down. How did they protect? I have so many questions about that activity. How did they protect the guy that had to take water? And the well we are talking about is in the desert. It's in the Middle East. It's not the type you know, really. May the Lord give you understanding. I was in Suruleri. That's where my house was. Uh, the, the, um, the guys that came to drill our borehole, uh, if my memory serves me right, they had to go downward 175 feet. So this is Suruleri, Lagos. So imagine a well in the Middle East how much time it will take for the guy to draw from that well. And the other mighty men defended him. They defended anyone that came, fell down. Anyone that came, came down. Until the guy got the water. After the guy got the water, the guy could not part actively participate in that warfare because he needs to... That was how they managed to come back and they gave David the water. You see, David happens to be a disciple of Samuel. There were several prophetic things that Samuel had taught him. So when they brought the water to David, uh, David refused to drink it and poured it out as a libation. In the eyes of David, according to spiritual knowledge, that water was equivalent to the blood of the men that went in jeopardy of their lives. In the realm of the spirit, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, it was blood. Oh, you are not with me. If you lack spiritual knowledge, you will, com you will commit blunders. Let me give you an instance. Many years ago in our church, in those days, we wanted to build. 
So as long as the building is still in progress, we contribute money every Sunday. We started contributing that money when I had no beard. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Hallelujah. We continued con contributing the money until some strands came. The contribution was still on until I married. May the Lord give you understanding. <laughs> That's the kind of offering I'm talking about. The, the offering they gather in five nairas, ten nairas, and that kind of offering. It came to pass that our pastor now had, had an invitation to preach in the United States of America. And there was no funding. The only catch, the only catch of funding, of money in the ecosystem was where? The building money. So our pastor requested that um, the money be released. The chairman said, no, this money is not for United States. It's for what? For building. He was removed from the position instantly. And a chairman that was willing to disburse now release the money. True life story, true life. Our pastor went to the US. The, the state withheld. Our pastor was beat by a snake. In in not in Orile. I said, okay, like a spent all the time the conference time in the hospital without without health insurance and the church had to pay a price somehow they didn't want the pastor to go back empty so they mobilized and the pastor came back shouted on everybody and then gave the equivalent of what was given do you understand but unfortunately according to the shakers of the sanctuary the amount that was taken out, the meaning of what was taken out is not exactly the computer equivalent of what was brought in. Oh, you're not with me. <laughs> now, if you latch, meanwhile, that was the reason why many people began to die in the congregation. I'm telling you this because I was in the control room, in the prayer room. Yes, we were laboring to find out what is it and when if i tell you we prayed believe me we prayed we were praying and people were dying it took a long time before the spiritual intelligence behind the open door that satan was exploiting was revealed that particular money the way it came determines its value in heaven but without spiritual knowledge, you will think it means the same amount that is in central bank. David poured out this water as a libation to God. It's only God that can take this kind of... Hey! is not this. It was because of spiritual knowledge that he took that decision. Now, if you lack spiritual knowledge... You know, I was listening to pastor yesterday... Some of us came um, late, so we couldn't meet the service. But I had to go through the service to understand um, the spirit of the conference and know uh, how to put my own quarter. And he was talking about the judgments of God. Uh, that, that, that is the wisdom for matters. Without spiritual knowledge, you are handicapped. There is a spiritual intelligence that will give you authority to manage a certain situation. And if you have not entered into that corridor and you have not secured it, you don't have the authority to change anything. Even if you are quoting scriptures. 